the fire of god protects provides and give directions which means the fire of god conserves us okay now how do i say this now we know can we read exodus chapter 13 verses 20 to 20 chapter 13 verses 20 to 22 20 to 22 yeah after leaving after leaving sukkot they yeah. camped at etham on the edge of the desert by 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 day the lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light so that they could travel by day or night neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people yeah thank you shiba so what it says is when the people of israel was journeying through the desert for all the 40 years there was a pillar of cloud which protected them during the day time and there was a pillar of fire which gave them light and protection in the night time and definitely this is god himself okay so god gave protection and one of the ways that was the fire of god it did not leave it says neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people continuously the presence of god the protection the direction of god was with the people of israel now the same fire can kirti read in exodus chapter 14 23 to 25 what happened yeah the egyptians pursued them and all pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen followed them into the sea during the last watch of the night the lord looked down from the pillar of fire and cloud at the egyptian army and threw it into confusion he jammed the wheels of the of their chariots so that they had difficulty driving and the egyptian said let's get away from the israelites the lord is fighting for them against egypt yeah thank you kirti so we find here in verse 24 that the fire the pillar of fire and cloud threw the egyptian army into confusion okay which means again god's protection through the fire from his enemies so that is how god fire protected the people of israel and that same god is available for us even today okay now there is another one thing that i was yesterday while making the study going through it in leviticus chapter 6 verses 12 to 13 Leviticus chapter 6 verse 12 to 13 The fire on the altar must be kept burning it must not go out every morning the priest is to add firewood and arrange the burnt offering on the fire and burn the fat of the fellowship offerings on it the fire must be kept burning all the on the altar continuously it must not go out yeah thank you ram so this is a lesson that we need to learn that we need to keep the fire of god in our lives continuously burning you cannot allow it to go out okay we have to ensure that the fire on the altar in the old testament it was the altar but today god is in us we heard in the ministry time that we are the temple of the holy spirit and holy spirit is fire the fire is in us and if you quench the fire then it goes out then our life will not be powerful we will not be able to be witnesses we will not be able to overcome temptations so that is a lesson that we need to learn that we need to keep the fire continuously burning 